Hello everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about things that have happened over three months of having an investment property. For those who don't know, I have an investment property out in Cathedral City and currently there are tenants in there and they moved in about two months ago. I wanted to kind of make this video because I feel like real estate investing is like such a hot thing right now, but people don't talk about the downsides of real estate investing. Immediately on July 4th, I got a call that a pipe has burst. They sent a video of the pipe itself. And yes, there was a pipe under the cement that bursted and that needed to get fixed. Because it happened on like the 4th of July weekend, I had two options. The first was to either A, get a hotel for them. And keep in mind, they have about four children, so six people total. And so I would either have to get a really big hotel or two hotel rooms, and I would have to be paying 4th of July prices. Cathedral City is right next to the Palm Springs area, and that area is not cheap. So we were looking at like $300 a night, $300 a night in hotels the second option was to get someone out immediately, and so we did. However, I did have to pay a hefty price because of the fact that it was a 4th of July weekend. I still feel like I overpaid for what actually happened. Uh, so basically, the work order that they did was drill into the cement, cap the pipe, and then fill up the hole with dirt or whatever, and a new layer of concrete on the hole itself. For that one job alone, I spent $1,400. I was fucking pissed, but I needed to get done. If I were to put my tenants in a hotel, either way, it would have cost at least $800 for the weekend. And on top of that, I would have to also pay someone to actually do the work. So essentially, I was paying the same exact thing. $1,400 was such a big hit. And this is a tip. If you want to make money, get into plumbing, man. Holy shit, you make so much money. So the second thing that happened was that my tenants were complaining that one part of the house was too hot. I, th I think this complaint was justified as it does get really hot in Palm Springs, like over 110 degrees sometimes. And there was a lack of airflow going to the end of the house. However, I even stayed there myself a couple nights and it is pretty cool if you turn on the fan and AC. I think they were scared of turning on the fans because it was jiggling or something, but I feel like I've had so many fans that jiggle and nothing happens. But I honored what they asked for and I just bought kind of like a portable AC unit that goes out from the window. That cost about $400. I did call some AC places where they could install mini split and holy crap, do not do that. I think the cheapest quote I got was like $5,000. Do not get mini splits, just get portable AC units. It is not worth it. So the third thing that happened was that a shower handle broke in one of the guest bathrooms. I didn't expect this one to happen, but I did test out the shower handle before and it was really stiff. So I'm not surprised that it eventually broke. So again, this one was justified. The good thing about this one was that it was fairly cheap. It was about $180 for someone to come out, replace the custom part, um, and get the shower working again. So it wasn't too bad of a wallet hit, but I, I'm just crossing my fingers that this will never happen again. So these three things happened in the month of July, and that's just one month of their stay. We are now in August, <laughs> and already I have gotten some things that have happened and I'm just really like pissed and tired and kind of sad at the same time of why these are happening. So let's get into what has happened in the month of August. So the first thing that happened is that the tenants complained that they had to keep resetting the water heater. Someone is coming out this week actually to check it out. Hopefully it's not a big deal. I don't think it should be. So the water heater was recently changed from the previous owner. And I think it's only like a couple years old. So if anything, I think the coil probably needs to be replaced or I don't know, the ignition. My fingers are crossed that this isn't a huge deal. Additionally, I use my home warranty for this water heater repair. 
and it says they cover up to two thousand dollars worth of like damages so hopefully it's a quick fix and the warranty covers it if anything if i do have to replace it i don't think it'll be a huge hit as they do cover two thousand dollars but still i do not want to pay that out of pocket man additionally on the same day my tenant sent me a text that there was bubbling of drywall and they said when they poked the drywall the drywall just fell aka that means there's a leak somewhere <sighs> oh my god i have a plumber coming out in a couple days again this is such a fucking pain like it's so sad i don't know what is happening because i had my pre-inspection before this and literally everything was pretty much squeaky clean like it's it's just really sad and i feel like i'm kind of bleeding money we'll get into that later in the video but let's just go through <laughs> what has actually happened so again my tenant said the drywall is wet which indicates that there is a leak it is the wall directly behind the master bedroom where where the shower is and so i'm sure there's a leak somewhere and this one is definitely going to be a bit pricey if i could get this under a thousand dollars i'll be so happy but i know that water damage especially if it's extensive can be really expensive and being that it's my draw drywall they probably might have to replace some beams and i have to get new drywall installed as well as them fixing my leak and making sure the leak stops so again it's just one of those things where another issue pops up i don't know what to do it's quite demoralizing to be honest i'm just praying that as these fixes get implemented we're gonna have less and less fixes down the road if i keep getting leaks i might have to repipe the house but leaks have been kind of the primary issue and the most expensive issue i'm i'm, I'm really considering just repiping the house hopefully i won't get a leak for like 10 to 15 years but again more money more money more money the silver lining for this video is that this investment is intended to be a long-term investment which means i plan to hold it for at least 10 plus years that being said two to three grand right now probably a drop in the bucket if we're looking long term and so that's where my silver lining is in the worst case, this house doesn't appreciate. I can just hold this home for 30 plus years and essentially get a free home. But these repairs have definitely been on my mind and it's a bit just been a headache to deal with. And now I see why people will get out of real estate investing or have property management because this truly is a headache and it's always a stressful situation. Again, I'm just trying to keep my hopes up and just trying to keep positive vibes. It is part of the business. There will always be things happening in your house. So I'm just praying that these things are just temporary and in the long term, they will be fixed. Till next time, my name is Alex Larshvik. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and have a good one. Bye.